Hey everybody, Bear here. It's Tuesday, it's time for some camp cooking. And I thought we'd revisit something today. If you've been around for a while, you might remember I reviewed oatmeals. Now there were some distinct things about oatmeals that I did not like. And it's not to say that it's completely useless, it has its place, but there were some things I didn't like, but it made me, made me put my thinking cap on. And I started to think about the things that I did like and how they applied elsewhere. So today, we're going to give the old Hereford meatballs here, the uh, rip and ready meatballs, we're going to give them a taste test. And this right here, this is a grocery store MRE. It's just like what's inside of the oatmeal, but without all the extra stuff, we can boil it up in some water to heat it, just like the oatmeal. And uh, it's smaller, it's more calories, it's a bigger meal, and it costs a whole lot less. All right, so a couple of things I like from the Hereford Rip and Ready meatballs already without even opening the pack is number one, it seems like it's gonna be a decent meal in here. It's 230 calories per serving with two servings in the bag, which is a more realistic meal to me at 460 calories. One of the next things I like is that this thing, the first ingredient in here is the cooked meatballs. That means most of what's in this bag is little cooked meatballs. How awesome is that? It's not just sauce and filler. So anyways, here's, here's some nutrition facts for you. Here's a peek at the ingredients. And here's some heating instructions. So all right there on the back of the bag, let's, well, let's, let's heat it up. It says for the uh, stove top to boil it in the water, you want to carefully place the pouch in boiling water and simmer for three to five minutes. Gently remove the pouch from the boiling water and allow it to stand for 30 seconds. So I figure we set it in here in the cold water, we bring it to a simmer, and once it starts simmering, we let it go three more minutes and we should be there. Come on, jet boil. Let's see here. I need fire, fire, fire. How many of y'all keep fire in your wallet? Come on, open up. Here we go, fire. And I don't know, we're gonna go in here. Let's kick this guy off with about a half a pot. And we'll see how much the bag space it takes up. We are gonna have to give this guy a little little curl to go down in my jet boil zip here oh yeah about a half a pot's perfect let's crank this guy up and let's look for a simmer all right we're going three minutes y'all the jet boil may not be the most gracious pot for this three two one zero three minutes and since I'm doing this for the least amount of time, I'm gonna let this guy hang out for another minute. Restart, let's see here, cancel. Let's go for one more minute. And we'll let it hang out in the hot water for an extra minute, and then we're gonna dig in and see what we've got. Timer's going. All right. It's had another minute to sit in the hot water. Bag's nice and steamy. We're just, just supposed to rip right across the top there. Ripping ready. All right, time out. Interrupting the video with a real quick question for you. Next month in February, I'm gonna do some camp appetizers and I don't have enough for the whole month. So if you got an idea of a camp appetizer you wanna see or that you'd like to have when you're out at camp, well, stick her on down there in the comments for me and who knows, maybe I'll do yours and we'll see it next month. All right, back to meatballs. Ooh, squeezing out mater sauce. Oh, can you see it? Let's get it in the old trusty blue bowl and see what we're working with here. Now I tell you, if you're low carb in it, there's you some dinner, maybe throw your little cheese on there, or cook some noodles up and split these with somebody. 
Well, let's, uh, let's do the ever-important taste test and see if they're worth a hoot and see if they got hot. All right, so what do you think? Should we try the sauce and meatball, then the meatballs, and uh, should we rate each one individually or is it some whole? It's a some whole, so we'll rate them and we'll rate them individually. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's give her a taste test. Should we try the sauce first? Let's see what we got. Let's see what, see what Herford's doing for their sauce. It was definitely warm enough after that. It could be a touch warmer. Maybe boil it for four minutes. It's got a nice flavor to it. Uh, you know, I'm not mad at that at all. Let's see here. Put some sauce on the meatball. Let's, let's cut a meatball in half. They are spoon tender. And then... See it? Got a little sauce on there. You know what? They're not bad. They're a little dry, but they taste okay. I'd put them up against any of those frozen meatballs you buy that are pre-made. It's a little peppery. There's a little bit of a little acidity to it. There we go. Hey, she's a good cheap budget meal for the trail. I'm going to give her... Oh, let's see here. I'm going to give her four. Four bear paws. Yep. Overall rating, price range, what you get in the bag, ease of use, four bear paws. Here's an explanation to the bear paws if you're not familiar with them. That's right, one's the worst. We don't want to go there, and five's the best. I'd eat it at home. But I'm giving this guy four bear paws, and we'll see you on the trail.